Today in Crypto In traditional markets, the S&P 500 remained steady throughout the week, finishing on 3,722. In Europe, the stock's 600 rose marginally, finishing the week on 395. And here in the UK, it was a different story, with ongoing Brexit negotiations and the uncertainty surrounding no deal sending jitters through the FTSE All share. It finished the week on 3,685. In crypto markets, there was a little more movement. Bitcoin flew to an all-time high of $23,586. Some altcoins also experienced positive movement, with Ethereum hitting a 7-day high of $673 and Litecoin remaining solidly above the $100 level. I've mentioned previously that I could see us breaking $20,000 before the end of the year. That has now come to pass and in quite extraordinary fashion, Bitcoin flying through $20,000, $22,000, and then $23,000 in just 24 hours. We are now hovering around the $24,000 level following a further price move over the weekend. Despite a large number of sell orders on exchange order books at the $20,000 level, Bitcoin still flew through what was previously a significant resistance barrier. I wouldn't have been surprised if the price had hung around $20,000 for longer but the bullish trend was clearly snowballing. Bitcoin didn't even stop to say hello to $20,000 as it headed straight to $23,000. We saw a record trading day on eToro last Thursday in terms of the number of people holding Bitcoin, which is now up 30% from the start of the year. Also on Thursday. For the first time in five days, there were more positions open than closed, indicating that the market sentiment is now becoming more bullish than at the start of the week. Now we've set a new all-time high. We're in price discovery mode, who knows how far the price can still go before the close of the year. With that said, and given the price increase we saw last week, a period of consolidation could be beneficial to Bitcoin price allowing things to stabilize and cool down before another potential price movement higher. Last week, digital asset firm Sinem in particular, and we expect even more in the next 12 months. See you in 2021. Disclaimer, this is a marketing communication and should not be taken as investment advice, personal recommendation, or an offer of, or solicitation to buy or sell, any financial instruments. This material has been prepared without having regard to any particular investment objectives or financial situation and has not been prepared in accordance with the legal and regulatory requirements to promote independent research. Any references to past performance of a financial instrument, index or a packaged investment product are not, and should not be taken as a reliable indicator of future results. All contents within this report are for informational purposes only and do not constitute financial advice. eToro makes no representation and assumes no liability as to the accuracy or completeness of the content of this publication which has been prepared to utilize publicly available information. Crypto assets are volatile instruments that can fluctuate widely in a very short time frame and therefore are not appropriate for all investors. Other than via CFDs, trading crypto assets is unregulated and therefore is not supervised by any EU regulatory framework. Your capital is at risk. While traditional markets were sleeping, Bitcoin welcomed the new year with a record-breaking rally. The leading crypto hit a series of fresh highs, tagging prices just below $35,000 on the 12th anniversary of the first block mining. The soaring prices appear to be driven by institutional buying. Still hasn't surpassed its 2018 peak of $1,4K. And yet, the second largest crypto could now be following its bigger brother's lead. Late on Sunday, Ethereum crossed the $1,000 mark concluding a week of almost 40% gains. This milestone comes exactly three years after the same price was surpassed in early 2018. As Ethereum has made a resurgence, the entire crypto market cap has also hit a fresh all-time high of $880 billion, breaking the previous record set in January 2018. Bitcoin adoption reached a crescendo last week as NFL player Russell Okung said he will receive half of his $13 million salary in Bitcoin. By accepting the crypto as his payment, Okung is validating the asset to a whole new audience of sports fans. And, his decision has also got the Bitcoin ball rolling among pro athletes. According to reports from Coindesk, 
Athletes from two New York baseball and basketball teams are already seeking a similar salary arrangement. As Bitcoin blasts through the stratosphere, cautious traders are pondering the possibility of a 30% pullback just like those seen in previous bull rallies. Such a move could take Bitcoin down to $24,000. Yet this may be counteracted by strong buying pressure from institutional players. On the front page of the Monday morning's Financial Times, a big blue Bitcoin logo greets readers for the first time, marking another key moment of acceptance for the leading crypto among the biggest players from traditional finance has been hovering within the lower dollar 30,000 region throughout the past several hours, with bulls unable to take firm control over its price action. This consolidation has hampered the rallies seen by altcoins like Ethereum, but it may ultimately prove to be a positive thing for BTC's smaller counterparts if it persists. One trader is now noting that a break above $32,000 could be all Bitcoin needs to retest its all-time highs once again. At the time of writing, is trading down just under 2% at its current price of $31,450. This marks a slight decline from its recent highs of $35,000 set just a few days ago. This decline first began when derivatives traders became over-leveraged as BTC approached $35,000. From here, it faced a strong pullback that led it to $30,000. It has been setting higher lows and consolidating ever since this occurred. One analyst pointed to $32,000 as a key level to watch in the near term, that could be on the cusp of seeing major upside if bulls can shatter this level. Bitcoin News Roundup for January 5, 2021 With BTC back above $32,000 and a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin exiting Coinbase, Coindesk's Markets Daily is back with the latest crypto news roundup. A team of market analysts at JP Morgan, NYSE, JPM, told investors on Monday that Bitcoin could reach $146,000 or higher in the long run. Led by Nikolaus Panigertsoglu, the analysts opined that Bitcoin could become a strong competitor to gold. According to an article published by Bloomberg on January 5, Panigertsoglu wrote, a crowding out of gold as an alternative currency implies big upside for Bitcoin over the long term. A convergence in volatilities between Bitcoin and gold is unlikely to happen quickly and is in our mind a multi-year process. This implies that the above $146,000 theoretical Bitcoin price target should be considered as a long-term target, and thus an unsustainable price target for this year. With its current market cap of around $590 billion, Bitcoin would have to rise by at least 4,6 times to reach the theoretical price of $146,000. Considering Bitcoin's precedence and the level of action happening around it, it doesn't come as a surprise that such predictions are being made. However, the analysts feel that there is too much speculation on the direction of Bitcoin in the short term. They admitted that current speculative momentum could push Bitcoin to a $50,000, $100,000 range, but this would be unsustainable. JP Morgan has consistently professed its pro-Bitcoin stance in the last few months. This is a rather sharp turn considering the fact that Jamie Dimon, chairman and CEO of the company called Bitcoin a fraud in September 2017. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.